Hello everyone, my name is Ala El Jabari, a co-organizer of the Arabic in LU 2024 Share Task, which is the first Arabic natural language understanding share task. It is a collaborative effort also organized by my colleague Muhammad Khaliliya, Sanad Malaysia, Reem Suwaylah, Mustafa Jarrar, Tamir Sayyid, and Imad Zaytouni. Let me first mention that our team at Sina Lab has developed several tools and datasets for Arabic natural language and processing. It includes the word sense disambiguation corpus and modeling. Uh, the goal of this shared task is to push the boundaries of the Arabic natural language understanding, which is a fundamental aspect of the natural language processing. It enables the semantic-based human-machine interactions. One of the major challenges in Arabic is the ambiguity due to its morphological richness because words in Arabic can have multiple interpretations based on their morphology and this may lead to misunderstandings and errors in NLP applications. To address this, we focus on two core NLU tasks, the word sense disambiguation and location mention disambiguation. For subtask 1, word sense disambiguation, or WSD in short, it is all about figuring out the correct meaning of ambiguous words based on their context. So imagine we have a sentence, a target word, and a set of possible meanings for that word. The task is to identify which meanings it uh, fits the context. For this, participants provided with Selma Corpus, the first sense annotated corpus for Arabic, it includes 1,440 sentences and 34,000 tokens. Uh, the participants received a development set of 100 sentences and a test set of 1,340 sentences. Uh, to encourage innovation, no training datasets were shared. This to push participants to leverage generative model techniques and external resources. For subtask 2, location mentioned disambiguation or LMD, it deals with accurately identifying location mentions in microblogs and linking them to the specific toponyms in geo positioning datasets. This involves retrieving and ranking the candidate toponyms for each location mentioned in a post. For this task, we provided the Idrisi dataset, the first Arabic LMD dataset. It contained 2,869 posts from various dialects featuring 3,893 location mentions across seven countries. The dataset was split into 70% for training, 10% for development, and 20% for testing. This to ensure a fair evaluation across different disaster types and geographical areas. We received 38 registrations. Out of these registrations, only three teams managed to submit to the final evaluation phase, three of them for the WSD task and two for the LMD subtask. And here is a summary for the participating systems. For the WSD task, the top team used LLAMA3 and GPT-4 with zero-shot learning technique, while the second team conducted three experiments with Arapert version 2 and their classification approach fine-tuned on Salma dataset to outperform the others, while the third team employed zero-shot learning with LAMA3 with LLMs and fine-tuning pre-trained language models. For the location mentioned disambiguation task, the top team translated location mentions into English using LAMA3 and then used uh, GeoPy for uh, toponym retrieval, while the second team used OpenStreetMap for retrieval and the Cohere for re-ranking. The results for the submitted models for the WSD ta uh, subtask, uh, the highest accuracy achieved was 77.8%. Uh, however, none of the participants uh, surpassed our baseline, which have accuracy about 84.20%, and this uh, suggests that generative models, particularly in zero-shot settings, still fall short compared to encoder-based models fine-tuned in high-quality datasets. On the other hand, for the LMD subtask, 
the results had more promising outcome the highest MRR achieved was 95% with both participating teams outer performing the baselines Finally, uh, the findings from the participating teams highlight the ongoing challenges and research gaps associated with these subtasks. First, the, w the WSD and the LMD are indeed uh, challenging tasks, and there is a clear need for more data sets and uh, research in these areas. Additionally, Arabic dialects need to be better supported in both WSD and LMD tasks. We also observe that generative models underperformed compared to traditional classification architectures trained on label data. And finally, Arabic tailored LLMs might be necessary to improve performance. Thank you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us.